the co-host of the Magic Johnson Show. And by the way, not like the Ed McMahon laugh at laugh. I was going to be the co-host. Okay, great rehearsal shows. It was, you know, I was so excited. So then they start to panic. The Fox people start to panic. They brought in writers from the Tonight Show. I don't mean the Leno Tonight Show, the Johnny Carson Tonight yeah. Show with references. This guy's wearing a mullet cut and he's a, a, a mullet cut head and members only jacket. This is just writing my jokes for me. Oh boy! References to Nell Carter. <laughs> and I called the guy Sling Blade because he had a jutted out draw, jaw. The head writer. I go Sling Blade. Yeah, you can't make me tell these jokes. I'll get booed. This is a quote. He goes, mm-hmm. a boo is as good as a laugh. Mm-hmm. Johnny loved to be booed. Mm-hmm. Everything was about Johnny Carter. Oh. I go, I'm not Johnny Carson. I'm Craig Shoemaker. Nobody knows who I am. And that's what I'm going to bring your jokes. And they said, you have to tell these. Oh, no. So it's already not going well. So the idea was I was going to do my monologue sitting next to Magic Johnson. And he was going to laugh and respond. We would have a dialogue instead of me doing a monologue in front of the audience. So uh, now this is it. So backstage. Now understand Sling Blade also writes the jokes for Magic Johnson and the introductions. <laughs> Horrible. This is my introduction. I just won Comedian of the Year. And meanwhile, the place is going nuts. Let me just describe. It's an urban crowd. I look like John Boy Walton. Let's get that straight for the radio listeners. I do not blend in the hood. Okay? So now, he's the place is going crazy. They love Magic Johnson, Lakers legend. And he's there. And Sheila E's the band leader. They're, she's there That's with right. the bongos. They're yes. going nuts. They're going nuts. And now they're going to introduce me. And here's the introduction that he gives me, written by Sling Bitty. He goes, all right, everybody, let's get the show started with my co-host. Now, here's a guy nobody would shower with, Craig Shoemaker. <laughs> I'm back there going, excuse me? Nobody would shower with me? What kind of an introduction is that? I almost didn't come out. But it's a live show. It's live to yeah. tape. So I come around the corner with my stupid piston walk. There's kind of some irony in that, too. Uh, oh, Chris. So, it's a, so I sit down next to him, and this is the first words out of my mouth, written by Sling Blade. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, hey, Craig, how about that Bulls game? I said, Magic, I haven't seen a beating like that caught on tape since Rodney King. Now, do you see your reaction right now? Oh, I'm telling geez. you, the, the gasp. That was you the joke heard, the guy wrote? Yeah, you yeah. could have heard the gasp here in Salt Lake City from Paramount Studios. Oxygen mask popped out of the ceiling. <laughs> it was almost like I was going to be lynched. God. And now, instead of helping me out, Magic, known for the assist in basketball, <laughs> and he, goes, he just goes, oh, Craig, oh, Craig, oh, Craig, you are bad. <laughs> now, remember, everybody, that was Craig, the co-host, not me. Well, that's he threw me right in the wood chipper on national television. These are the first words out of my mouth. Then the next words were about a celebrity, and he never wants to look bad. So he goes, oh, Craig, you yeah. are bad. Now, he's not going to come on the show. And I'm sitting there thinking, that ain't the reason. <laughs> That's not the reason they're not coming on the show. People were canceling. He couldn't pronounce the movies they were in. <laughs> Michael Clark Duncan was in Armageddon, and I am not exaggerating. Magic was reading the coup card oh, going, no. now up next from the movie Armageddon. <laughs> now here he is from Armageddon. Armageddon. Oh, Craig. How do you say that word? It's like, oh, just say end of the world. This is the end of my career. Now, I have to understand, I'm like this, I was a poor kid growing up in Philadelphia, I had no money, I used to think the word evict meant move, <laughs> when I was a little kid, my dad left, and, I was, and I'm sitting here on national television, this is my debut, they want to kill me, so now the first guest is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and, and uh, now put yourself in my shoes, I'm with these legends, yeah. and then I realized, I have to be the UN translator, neither one of them can talk, oh, man. <laughs> so I, and this, they did that little, you know, uh, kiss up uh, conversation, this is word for word, their conversation, and I'm just sitting there watching this, Arnold, the reason I had you as a guest on my premier talk show, you make a lot of money for a lot of the needy people. Folks, don't he give it up for all the needy people? Yeah, yeah. No, Magic, you don't want to give all the money back. Am I right? He's got the AIDS awareness, the Magic Johnson did uh, helping them kids in the hood. Oh, come on, Arnold. You are the one from Special Olympics helping those needy kids. And I'm sitting there thinking, <laughs> how am I going to blend in? <laughs> so I lean over. I almost gave a buck to a homeless guy. He didn't have change for a 10. Oh, Craig. Oh, Craig, you are bad. Now the homeless guy's not going to come to the show. 